Welcome back to the Lisa Wexford Show, broadcasting live from Rich Hill in Yonkers. And we do every single Friday from 4 to 6, and you're invited to join us right here in front of Whole Foods at the Farmer's Market. We do a little bit different show than the normal Monday to Thursday for the summers. We talk about life and lifestyle, and we talk about health and nutrition and yummy foods. And last week, I met Katie, who is the author of her own blog called Intoxicate, spelled K-A-T-E, naturally. Katie Schlenz? Yes. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Yes, that's perfect. I'm not happy with that name. We may have to talk off the air. It's not a great name for you to be so, you know, on the radio, Schlenz. Yeah, what's it's his, a tough what's his one. last name last year? Hughes. You, nice. Are you thinking yeah. of changing it? I think so. If you get the ring. If we get if the we ring. If we get the ring. Yeah. This is like, yeah. you know, I, he's part here two today for the conversation about giving you a hard time. Exactly. And right. he's, he's here today and, of course, monitoring exactly what I'm saying. Okay. So. But Hughes is a very nice name. It is a very for, nice name. For authoring and blogging and yeah, being on the radio and television. Exactly. I like it. It's good. Thanks. I mean, Schwentz is okay because I'm sure it has some family history with it, but it doesn't exactly roll off. You're right. Right? You're right. It's hard, it's hard to better. spell. Yes, yes, it's better. It's easy. So anyway, Katie, so I tasked you with giving me a survey of happy hours around our area, around the county. So let's hear your report. So one of the best places to go is actually right here in Ridge Hill. Oh, yeah? Yes. We have Bonefish Grill, which has what they call a happier hour. And they have um, Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 6.30. They have cocktails for $6 and under, and then apps for under $5. And they've brought a couple of those. I know, but I had no idea you were going to open with Bonefish Grill. That's a true coincidence. It's true. It's true. It is true. true. It is. Um, But I have to tell you, having dropped off these things, there's a Blackberry Elixir, which has this magnificently gorgeous Blackberry in it, and no alcohol because I don't drink alcohol, and it's absolutely delicious. It tastes like pink lemonade, but not really. Oh, it's so like delicious. Pink lemonade with uh, blackberry? Oh, the coconut, coconut water. water. Coconut water. Is There's that the coconut water in that one. Very refreshing on a summer day. And if you do like alcohol, they have a Malibu rum that they put in that. Okay. So if you want to make that an alcoholic beverage, that's what they do for that okay. one. And then we also have, um, if you're looking for more of like a corporate hip crowd, yes. you go to 42 at the top of the oh, wrist. I've carpet. been there great it's a perfect uh happy hour place because it's, you have that nice a beautiful scenery, view yeah. beautiful view you get that 360 view of Westchester. but the it's last gorgeous. time i was there it was about eating zucchini flowers has the menu changed yes they have um a dollar oysters that's cool right so it's a little bit you that's know, really bit neat yeah. yeah yeah so it's a dollar an oyster dollar an oyster um and they also have you know things like fried calamari um wings and then their portuguese chicken have you had their portuguese no. chicken? no oh, Delicious. What makes it different? What makes it Portuguese? You know, chicken? it's like almost like twice fried. It's got some like crunch around what it. I it's need delicious. Twice fried. It's yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, good okay. for the calories. No, no, no. But it's but it's little <laughs> it's little fried strips, but they call it Portuguese because Portuguese. it's very crisp. Right. Okay. And then we also have um, new on the restaurant scene is Stone Manor in Hawthorne, New York. Never been. It's brand new. It's only been open. I want to say a couple of weeks. But they have a beautiful, like, lounge setting. So that's going to be perfect if you're looking for more, like, a relaxing. What is Stone Manor? Is it a hotel? What is it? No, it, they're actually just a restaurant, but they have a really good event space. If you're looking for um, weddings or corporate parties, that kind of thing, they have a really nice um, And what space. is happy hour, technically? 4 to 6, 4 to 7? What 4 is to 6.30 is, is usually the range that we're looking at. But I do have one that's actually later. So if you're getting off the train in White Plains and you're a little bit later, maybe you worked late, we have the City Limits Diner in White Plains. They do one from 9 p.m. to close. 9 p.m. to 9 close? 9 p.m. to close. So you have $4 glasses that's of not, beer. That's not a happy hour. That's I'm like I don't want to go home. <laughs> that's, that's what that's that like is. That's like a happy outing. That's, that's a happy evening. Yeah, no, and that's I don't want to go home, and maybe I need a designated driver. <laughs> that's what that is. And another great place, yeah, another great place is um, RRQ in New Rochelle. Have you been there? No. That's another brand new place. That's why you're here, Katie. You're telling me about all these places I haven't been. Well, they have, uh, it's a contemporary, they call it a contemporary barbecue. So they're like barbecue with a twist. What does that mean? Southern barbecue flavors, but they kind of had, have more interesting, like kind of culinary things going on. So you've got um, a little bit of a twist in their sauces. Something is usually unusual on the plate. So it's not typically your sweet and sourish or ketchupy barbecue sauce, right? It's you've got a little bit of a tang. Some of it's a little bit more zesty. So it's a they call it a contemporary that's a barbecue. Rochelle. That's a new Rochelle. It's in the place that used to be the old waterfront. Is it pork brisket? Exactly. Okay. And and they have really great drink specials as well. And the great thing about them is it transitions really well into evening because they have a really nice patio. And on Fridays and Saturdays they have DJs come. Nice. So they, 
kind of turns into a party atmosphere. So you've got you've got the county covered. I'm very proud of you. You've got New Rochelle Hawthorne, mm-hmm. of course, here in Ridge Hill. Right. And where was the other place? I forgot already. Oh, um, 42, White Plains. White Plains. White, right. We have two places in White Plains, city limits, and 42. Okay. And then I also have one more. If Tell you're me. interested. In Mamaroneck, we yeah. have, um, if you're looking for, like, the pub style. Yes, I like that, actually. Molly Spillane's. That's more my style. Wait, is, is that the place? I think I went to a different place, which was beautiful. It's like an old-fashioned station building. No, I know what you're thinking. That's, um, it's like the station house. And yeah, gorgeous that, place. It, beautiful Wonderful chandeliers. Food. Yeah, beautiful place. That's like more almost like a club feel. That's I would say later in the evening you're okay. going to get a crowd there. Um, the great thing about Mickey Spillane's, or I'm sorry, Molly Spillane's. Mickey Spillane's is in East Chester. Molly Spillane's in Mamaroneck. The great thing about um, their happy hours is they have service happy hours. So if you're a nurse or a teacher or a firefighter, they do specials specifically for you. So it's, is it cheaper? Is that what that means? It's specials specifically exactly. for you? Exactly. Right. Because these have, happy hours are fantastic bargains anyway. They really are. The I food mean, and the prices are amazing. Exactly. Like at Bonefish Grill, we just had the, um, the menus here. And, I mean, the drinks are 5 $6. But right. the food, the food is very reasonable, too. Everything's around. It's about 5 to $6. Yeah, cheap. yeah. And, honestly, it's a dinner. Right. Exactly. I mean, the portions are like dinner size. You don't really need to eat more. Right. And you, you can get just a couple of, you yeah. know, if you're there with friends, you grab a couple of appetizers, yep. have a couple of cocktails, and it's a great end Katie, to your day. Katie, thank you very much. So you're going to come on weekly. Yeah. And you're going to give us a survey of different happenings throughout the county in terms of dining trends and cuisines and where to go and what to do. You got it. And what I'd like you to do is write this up for me, these five places. Amanda, you're going to put it on the website. Where to go, what to do, we'll do a link to Intoxicate. Perfect. All thank right? you so much. Thank you, sweetheart. All Pleasure. Right. Great. Thank you for thank coming. You.